Welcome to another video tutorial lesson on English 6 on recognizing evaluative word choices to detect biases and propaganda devices used by speakers. If you're fond of watching television, reading newspapers or magazines, or surfing the internet, you are all familiar with these advertisements. There are different kinds of advertisements. You are familiar with product packaging and billboards, public service announcements and political campaign literature, which are also an advertisement. Advertisements can be presented in different ways. Note that not everything said in an advertisement is true. Some are merely propaganda or those done with false claims. There are two important terms in this lesson. We have biases and propaganda devices. A bias is a judgment based on a personal point of view. And when you say propaganda, it refers to the spreading of information, ideas, or rumor. It is meant to make people accept them. The ideas are usually misleading. So these biases and propaganda are used to influence people to believe, buy, or do something. These two are present or being used in common advertisements or generally among the advertisements. What are the propaganda devices? We have varied propaganda devices. We have banned wagon. You are attracted to use a product or join an activity because everyone is doing it. Influencing people by telling them how everyone is using the same product or is true to the same ideology. This encourage people to take the same action. Take note that everyone is doing it. So you are encouraged to do the same also. As in the example, join a pilgrimage to the Holy Land, buy two tickets and get one free. Join the thousands of pilgrims who have been there twice or thrice. Why? The trip is worth it. You have thousands of pilgrims who have been there twice or thrice. So this is an example of a band wagon. In Pepsi advertisement, you have the choice of a new generation. So that is also an example of a band wagon. Another propaganda device, you have plain fox. You are encouraged to use a product because it is what fox at home are using. This technique works in a way to establish that the speaker is regular and ordinary and has the same views and opinions as the people he is appealing to. It creates a sense of camaraderie between the speaker and his audience which helps build belief in the idea. Again, plain fox is what fox at home are using. Example, fly fill air, fill at home in the skies. At home in the skies. For example, in an advertisement of PAL, feel at home. This is an example again of what we call plain fox. Another propaganda device is testimonial. You are convinced to use a product because it is endorsed or confirmed by a well-known personality. This is an effective propaganda technique that often works wonders to influence an audience. Because, again, in testimonial, it is endorsed or confirmed by a well-known personality like the celebrity, the actors and actresses. Example, 
TV host and actress Chris Alonzo says that when it comes to flying, she always chooses Filaire, her favorite airline. So the one who endorses it is a TV host and actress, Chris Alonso. In examples, we have Catherine Bernardo in the advertisement of Life Boy. We have the famous personality also in Paracetamol Biogesic, Judy Santa Maria, and many other advertisements. We also have the so-called name calling. This causes you to create a negative opinion about someone or something because of bad opinions you hear of the person or things. Bad opinions you hear of the person or things. You make a conclusion without basis. Example, people who don't fly with filair are simply not in. So that bad opinion there is simply not in. If you don't fly with filair, meaning you are not in. As in the example of Caltrate Plus, which is uh, milk. If you don't drink this one, you would probably get osteoporosis. Another is the propaganda techniques. We have loaded words. You are attracted to use a product or join an activity because of the use of words that have strong emotions like love, peace, war, and hope. Words that have strong emotions. So in that way, the audience are being convinced. You have the example, peace of mind and heart is the greatest feeling one should have while flying up in the sky. Fly high with filair and have that great feeling of peace. So that emotion of peace in mind and in heart. What are other examples? We have in the Coca-Cola, open a Coke, open happiness. Cheapy, solid. We also have with Zondrox and Grand Cross products, we are stronger if we are together. We also have the glittering generality. You give in because you are overwhelmed by vague sweeping statements that usually come in slogans or simple catchphrases. That vague and sweeping statements, like in the example, Filair is the greatest airline ever in the century. High technology powered, it offers exquisite comfort and satisfaction for frequent flyers. So the generality there, the vague and sweeping statements, greatest ever in the century, high technology powered, exquisite comfort and satisfaction. As in the example, in this cafe, we have ang gising, ang gigising sa pangarap mo. We have SMDC, so much more to life. Things go better with Coke. In Levi's, we have strike up for the new world, and according to Globe, abut mo ang mundo. Del Monte pineapple juice, 100% protection every day. Protection every day. Another technique is transfer. You go for the product or idea if this is connected with another to create the impression that they share positive attributes the so-called sharing of positive attributes is what we call transfer. Example, fly with filair and feel that you're on top of a cloud skimming over a summer meadow. You have fly with filair and when you do that, you are on top of a cloud. So they share a certain attribute. As in the example of Milo, if you drink Milo, you are built to become champion. Nestle is a good food, good life. So that's all for today. I'll catch you in the next video tutorial lesson. Thank you everyone.